Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I will showcase my two finals that I played in two different uh, Sorcerer's Cups. And uh, the first one with 26 participants and the second one with 56. Uh, my team is based around Alolan Mook, which I think is the best Pokemon in the Sorcerer's format. And then I have a Toxicroak to counter my opponent's Alolan Mook. And then I have three different safe switches depending on what my uh, opponent lacks coverage against, which is Azumarill, Gramble, and Noctowl. And lastly, I have Bronzong for coverage against uh, Toxicroak and Charmers. So, in the first final, I go up against Nerox, and in game one, I choose to lead with Toxicroak and then Alolan Mook and Bronzong in the back. And this Toxicroak and Alolan Mook strategy is uh, one that I've been using against most opponents because it's just so strong. Uh, and he leads with Frostless, which is uh, a pretty bad lead if it goes down to the two shields. But if he just lets one mud shot through, I can double shield and farm down. So this is what's going to happen. Uh, that I shield and farm down all the way. And now I have a lot of energy and he has two shields. But then he sends in Quillfish, which is great for me because uh, I ha already have two mud bombs ready and I will be able to... Uh, take a big chunk of this quillfish and also take one shield and then I will send in Bronzong and he was probably not ready to use a charge move but uh, the confusion just deals so much damage against the squishy quillfish and here as you see I use uh, flash cannon on my Bronzong because I find it much better than uh, bulldoze because it uh, has the potential to one-shot charmers and it can uh, deal a big chunk to Hypno and again even against um, even against Skuntank and Alolan Mook Flash Cannon is pretty much equal equally good as Bulldoze they deal the same amount of damage so yeah my Alolan Mook could just finish the game with a, a Sludge Wave on Azumarill and in the second game I bring the same line except that I switch Bronzong for Azumarill and I win the lead very hard, and then he switches in his Quillfish. So now I will be, I will be able to either win the lead or uh, burn both of his shields. So this is what happened now, that I burn both of his shields. And then I will just uh, switch out to save Toxicroak for later. And I switch into Alolan Mook, and will tank one uh, Aqua Tail. And then he had slightly more energy than I anticipated. So I will have to burn my shield here. I wanted to use one more Snarl and then the Dark Pulse, but it's still okay. And now he brings in his own Azumarill and will farm down my Mook, but not before I hit him with a Sludge Wave, which will deal a lot of damage. And here I choose my own Azumarill, because... Uh, I want to farm him down and have a lot of energy for the Munchlax. And I'm ready at all times now to switch into my Toxicroak if he switches in his Munchlax. But uh, he managed to reach the Body Slam before I reach the charge move. So now I will just overcharge with uh, two extra bubbles so that I'm sure that I can reach my charge move before he reaches his. Before uh, Unleashing the Hydro Pump on Munchlax and then the Play Rough on his Azumarill. Last game, I lead with Bronzong, because uh, now I expect him to try to counter my Toxicroak with either uh, Noctowl or Quillfish. Uh, but then he sw safe switches into Frostless, which is uh, rather peculiar because. I cannot switch in either Alolan Mook or uh, Toxicroak because uh, Frostless will beat both of them with an energy advantage. So instead I have to stay in and deal some damage to Frostless and then uh, I switch in Alolan Mook when it's so, so weakened that I can just uh, farm it down with Snarls. And now I have plenty of energy so I will be able to fire off two Dark Pulses here on the Quillfish and force uh, the last shield. 
So now I have Bronzong with some energy and a full health uh, Toxicroak against his Azumarill. So I send in Toxicroak and I will be able to reach the Sludge Bomb before he reaches the Hydro Pump. And then Bronzong will just be able to finish it off with some fast moves and then just the charge move on the Quillfish. So good games against Nerox in the uh, Sorcerer's Cup with 26 participants. So the final in the second tournament is against Andy Oof, or however it's pronounced. Uh, and as you see, I switched Bronzong for Hypno in my team because I really didn't uh, face a lot of Charmers. But uh, against Andy Oof, I see that my Gramble hard counters Toxicroak and Frostless and Alolan Mook with just one shield and ha have uh, fairly even matchups against the other three. So I will have I will place a lot of trust into Gramble in this game. So in game one, I will lead with Gramble. And then I will have Alolan Mook in the back, and I will use Azumarill as a safe switch in case he leads with Hypno. But he leads with Frostless, which is amazing for me, because I will just be able to farm him down using only fast moves, uh, and only uh, spending one shield. So I expect the switch, and he switches into Azumarill, which is also great for me, because now I will um, be able to use a play rough, which is rarely shielded by Azumarills, since they uh, think that most Azumarils uh, think that I uh, have crunch and close combat. So now I'm in a great position. I undercharged this because I wanted to hit a few more bubbles, but it was enough to KO. And then uh, I will be able to take one shield from this Alolan Mook. And I will just let my Azumarill go down here because I want to save all my shields for Granbull because it has so good matchups here. So I shield this one, which unfortunately is a Dark Pulse. And then I will hit as many as possible before switching out, because I was scared of getting hit of another charge move, and I want to have the even more charm damage against his Frostless, in case I need it. But he will just let this go down, because it's actually pretty much over. Granbull would have been enough to KO both of his last Pokémon. And in the next game, I will use the same line, but I will switch the lead to Alolan Mook. Because now when he has seen my Gramble lead, I expect him to lead with Hypno. But no, it's an Azumarill. Uh, and this is fairly even. Sludge Wave will deal a lo lot of damage. But uh, I can't really tank uh, a Hydro Pump. So... Yeah, this is not the best situation. I will go for the second sludge wave and I hope to reach the Dark Pulse before him. But he got both of his piggybacks, so uh, I will let this one go down. Because I know that I must have uh, a shield for Gramble, since Gramble is so squishy. And I really wanted to farm that uh, Azumarill down, but he's... Uh, good player so he recognized that and just switch and save his energy for for later and then he switches in his hypno and this hypno is just uh, he just uses it to absorb all of my energy which is uh, unfortunate and then I will have to shield this because I know that he will use both sludge wave and then a hydro bump And then I just needed a few more HP, but it wasn't enough. And there was no point in using my charge move there, since he has a shield. So, very well played by my opponent. And in the final game, of the final final, I go back to my first line with Gramble and uh, Azumarill and Alolan Mook. But he leads with Azumarill once again, and I expected him to use 7 bubbles to bait the Hydro Pump. But he, he just fire off the uh, Ice Beams immediately. So I switch into my uh, Azumarill to catch the second Ice Beam at least. 
but uh, then he switches into his own Hypno. So this is uh, fairly okay for me. I don't want to face off against the Hypno with my Gramble, because Hypno just beats it in pure total damage output, and I don't have Crunch. So uh, I will just let my Azumarill go down here, because I need the shield for my Gramble, and then I will just commit to the entire farm down with Snarls on the Mook, or on the Hypno. And then he switches in his Azumarill, and I fire off my charge move as soon as possible because I didn't remember uh, how much energy he had, but that was actually a bad play. Uh, and I will just shield this to keep on dealing a lot of damage to the Mook. And I expected to be able to reach two charge moves here, but uh, I didn't. So I should have gone for the double close combat instead. But I will have to trust in uh, Alolan Mook because uh, he has a lot of energy and will almost be able to do a back-to-back -back Dark Pulse against his Alolan Mook. And then his Hypno is uh, low, low enough and has no energy. So I was able to take that uh, game. So that was my two Sorcerer's Cups that I've played. Uh, thanks for watching.